The magnetic North Pole is racing towards a supervolcano. What does that mean for the Earth's magnetic field and a possible pole jump? We will look at everything about this crazy development in this video. Be sure to stay until the end. Welcome, everyone. Magnetic fields, plate tectonics, supervolcanoes. If you don't want to miss any more news on such exciting topics from science and nature, subscribe right away and activate the bell. It's absolutely free. You'll never miss another video and you'll be helping me a lot. Thanks a lot, friends. And now imagine you're on an Arctic expedition. You pull out your compass to determine the direction, but the needle goes completely crazy. The reason? The magnetic North Pole is on the run. Okay, maybe not really on the run, but it is definitely moving faster than a polar bear hunting seals. For a long time, the magnetic North Pole was a loyal resident of the Canadian Arctic, but for several decades now, it has apparently been suffering from wanderlust. Currently, the magnetic North Pole is racing towards Siberia at a speed of about 55 kilometers per year. That's roughly as fast as a turtle in a marathon. So, incredibly fast by geological standards, and why is this even important? Imagine if all the compasses in the world suddenly pointed in the wrong direction. GPS systems would go haywire, migratory birds would fly around in circles in confusion, and even the door of your refrigerator could suddenly only open on the wrong side. The last part may have been a bit exaggerated, but you get the point. The reason for this wanderlust of our magnetic North Pole lies inside the Earth. Our planet has a liquid outer core of molten iron and nickel. The movement in this core generates a magnetic field that surrounds the Earth. It acts as a kind of cosmic shield against dangerous radiation from space. It's as if the Earth had its own superhero suit, just like Iron Man. The thing about this magnetic field is that it is not static, but constantly in motion. Imagine it like a giant lava lamp, only that instead of colorful bubbles, molten metal rises and falls. These movements cause the strength of the magnetic field to change at different points. Geophysicists assume that the Canadian magnetic field lobe, where the scientific term has actually weakened while the one for Siberia has become stronger, our magnetic North Pole is heading east, as if it received an enticing Groupon voucher for a wellness weekend in Siberia or something. However, the destination of its journey is anything but relaxing. The magnetic North Pole is heading directly for one of the largest volcanic systems on Earth, the Gackle Ridge. Wait a minute. A supervolcano beneath the Arctic Ocean. Yes, you heard that right. And no, this is not a script for the next disaster movie by Roland Emmerich, although it could make for a pretty cool film. The Gackle Ridge also known as the Mid-Arctic Ridge, is part of the global network of mid-ocean ridges. It extends over 1,800 kilometers below the Arctic Ocean and is the slowest spreading ridge in the world. It may not sound particularly exciting at first, but it is precisely this slowness that makes it so dangerous. It's like leaving a pressure cooker on a low heat. At some point, a huge amount of pressure builds up. But let's take it step by step. In 1999, scientists discovered something. A huge caldera, a volcanic crater, directly on the Gackle Ridge. At 80 kilometers long, 40 kilometers wide, and 1.2 kilometers deep, this crater is a heavyweight among volcanoes and can even rival the Yellowstone caldera. Researchers estimate that at least 3,000 cubic kilometers of volcanic material were ejected during the eruption that formed this cat. That's enough to bury the whole of Germany under an 8-meter layer of ash that can only be addressed with new taxes. This eruption is among the top 10 largest volcanic eruptions of all time. It was more violent than the famous Toba eruption 75,000 years ago. But don't worry, that eruption happened a long time ago, 1.1 million years. The only problem is that in geological terms, that's practically yesterday. And now the magnetic North Pole is moving directly towards the sleeping giant. A bit like approaching a sleeping dragon with a megaphone, what will happen if the cosmic radiation is directed precisely at the Gackle supervolcano? The magnetic North Pole is not just a point on the map, it is a kind of funnel for energy from space. The Earth's magnetic field lines converge at the magnetic poles and form a kind of polar dome. This dome diverts charged particles from the solar wind into the Earth's atmosphere, creating auroras, for example. Normally, however, this radiation is distributed over a larger area of the atmosphere, but the area where the Gackle Ridge supervolcano is located is a bit special. Here, the oceanic crust is super thin. So thin that in some places the mantle is even exposed directly beneath the seabed. It's as if the Earth here is wearing just a thin t-shirt instead of its usual thick winter coat. When the magnetic pole moves over this area, it could direct the influx of solar energy and charge particles to this thin skin magma rich region. And now there are some YouTubers who claim that this will trigger a huge eruption in the Arctic and that we are heading straight towards a global catastrophe. 
The concern raised in these videos is that this additional energy input could further destabilize the already unstable supervolcano system. But can this really be true? Worth breaking down. First of all, it is not completely far-fetched. The Gackle volcano could erupt again at some point. The Gackle Ridge supervolcano has already shown signs of activity in recent years. In 1999, the ridge experienced the largest earthquake swarm ever recorded on a mid-ocean ridge. This resulted in new volcanoes on the seafloor and even submarine pyroclastic flows, a type of eruption that was thought to be impossible under such high pressure. Another seismic swarm occurred in February 2018 and has once again confirmed that we are dealing with an active tectonic system here. And if a major eruption were to actually occur, the consequences would be rather suboptimal. The enormous amount of ejected material would probably contain significant amounts of water vapor and other gases, which could have dramatic effects on global weather patterns and climate. We remember the eruption of the Hunga Tonga underwater volcano in the South Seas in 2022, which as we now know, released so much water vapor into the atmosphere that it changed the global climate. The ash and gases released by an eruption of the Gackle Ridge could not only disrupt air traffic, but also influence global temperatures for decades. An eruption of the Gackle Ridge would be a bit like the Hunga Tonga eruption on steroids. But here's the thing, the claim by many YouTubers and pseudoscientists that the magnetic North Pole could trigger this eruption is not really substantiated. There is no scientific evidence that geomagnetic storms or the movement of the magnetic North Pole could trigger volcanic eruptions. Volcanism is caused by thermal and mechanical processes in the Earth's crust and mantle, not by electromagnetic fields. The connection between geomagnetic storms and geological events such as earthquakes or volcanic eruptions is not completely absurd. After all, we know that the Earth's magnetic field is generated by the circulation processes of liquid material in the Earth's interior. So there is a certain connection to volcanic activity. But there is a complete lack of scientific evidence to suggest that the migration of the magnetic pole has a direct impact on geological processes such as earthquakes or even volcanism, or that the shifting of the magnetic field could trigger eruptions. Even the force of the solar wind itself is not enough. Solar storms affect the Earth's magnetic field and can lead to geomagnetic storms, which in turn can cause disruptions in power grids or satellite communications. We still remember the geomagnetic storm in May, when we could even see beautiful auroras in Germany. But there is no direct connection between solar activity and volcanic eruptions. The energies released during a solar storm are enormous, but they mainly affect the upper atmosphere and have no significant influence on geological processes deep within the Earth. So all in all, we can say that both the movement of the magnetic poles and the volcanoes of the Gackle Ridge are super exciting topics that still have a lot of research to be done. But they probably have nothing to do with each other. However, other opinions are always valid. Feel free to write in the comments what you think. As soon as something new arises regarding the pole shift, I will let you know immediately, unless the supervolcano has already erupted by then. So make sure to subscribe to the channel using right now. And now we travel from Earth to the Moon. There, NASA recently discovered something incredible under the lunar surface. I conducted an exciting interview with one of Germany's most renowned planetary researchers, so be sure to click on the top right and watch it. And if you want to support the channel beyond that, feel free to watch the older videos as well. There are still exciting topics hidden for you. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, friends.